Hi there, I'm back again with another do-it-yourself home project on coasters. So in doing the project for the coasters, you'll need some Mod Podge, a sponge brush, some tiles. We got these, I think these are four by four, or four and a half by four and a half tiles that we just got at Home Depot for about 16 cents a piece. Some clear acrylic sealer. And you can either use cork. So this comes in a roll and we just cut it to size that we'll put on the back. Either use cork or felt or you can put little felt dots and just do all different kinds of things for the back of your coaster. You'll also need different pieces of paper. This is just some cardstock cut to size. And there's more variety of paper out there at scrapbook stores, craft stores, etc. You could also add some different stickers um, in a wide variety again at the craft store. So today, I'm going to do my project as a tribute to my brother and his wife. So my brother is an Oregon Ducks fan. So I just took this and printed it off the internet and cut it to size. So all we'll do is take some Mod Podge. and just lightly paint it over the top of your tile. You don't really have to worry because the tile, the tile is white or sort of white. You don't really have to worry about cutting all the edges or around your picture. You can also use photos family photos. I've also seen this done with maps. Um, anyways, you can just do it like that and then you would paint some Mod Podge over that and let that dry completely. My sister-in-law, my brother's wife, is a beaver fan. So this is going to be... Um, for their family. And then they have two children who are undecided. <laughs> and so I just did this in Photoshop, putting the two O's of the school together. And I'll give this to them as a set. And you can just come up with very creative, personal ideas for your coasters. And usually there's four in a set, but you can make as many or as little as you like. So after that dries and is the way you want it, again, you would paint some Mod Podge over it. You can paint several layers until it's completely dry. And then you would take your tiles outside and use this clear acrylic sealer and follow the directions, please, and make sure you either do it outside or do it somewhere with a lot of ventilation uh, because it really gets smelly. Um, and you want to be safe when you're doing your crafts. So you would s follow the directions, spraying the sealer on until it completely, completely dries. And then you would take your cork or your felt and glue that on the back of your coaster so it would sit like that and then you're you're done um, and this makes a really great gift with Christmas just around the corner and I just wanted to show you a few of the sets that I made previously I had a Scrabble collage that I did and with the leftover tiles I just did the same concept, um, 
putting the tiles, you can either make actual words or different letters and like a boggle kind of tiles for um, coasters. So I just did a set of four there. Or we did, and also had the kids involved in this project. It's great for a family activity. So one set looks like this with just different scrapbook papers and some stickers on that. And then this is another set that my niece did using some paper. And again, just trying to add some personality and um, some of your character to your crafts makes it a really great personal gift to give. So there you go with another idea for gifts that you can personalize for your family and friends. Happy crafting.